Hello friends. Uh, welcome to my spiritual in life YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Mahesh Bajantri. Today I am going to give some important information on the spirituality journey. Yeah. What do you mean by spirituality? Why we want spirituality in our life? This thing question comes when we ask questions like who are we and we why we are here and what is this physical world and why we take a birth and why we die and what is this all nature and what is the purpose to come to this world such kind of questions if you are getting means congratulations you are now awakening in spiritual world but you have to put some effort to try to get the answers for these questions first of all who are we so when you start thinking about this question the spiritual world our journey in different areas we get a one answer like we are not real here we are just a mortal piece we do have something called a soul which is not visible to our common eyes but that is what immortal so always when you ask questions who are we first think like we are not a physical body think like a we are a soul it's a tiny light particle which is not visible to common eyes that's what we are which is immortal okay we got answer for some or one question then why we came here the second question when you start to get the answer for this question we really not get clear answer for this because each and every soul experience are their life journey is completely different the circumstances of the life is different the challenges everything is different but if you think in a common way each and every soul came to this world to achieve something to you no know, absorb some good characteristics characteristics or something some goal of the uh, soul to become highest purest form now we don't know what is highest purest form but at the end we want to attain something a complete inner peace where we don't feel feel of any sourness we don't think about uh, past future present nothing should be a zero thoughts such kind of state we want to reach to reach that goal every soul takes some short term kind of goal which we want to achieve for that it will take lives for any human life it comes around 0 to 100 years of duration it may vary for many circumstances but if we take a common human life during that say 100 years of life duration soul wants to achieve something along the way this physical world gives the platform to each soul to become a expert or uh you can say like become master in that particular character the whole that particular life is the goal for that soul and correspondingly the life or nature or the physical world brings a circumstances a situation to that soul in every phases of the life of the soul to make him perfect in that particular aspect for example if a soul wants to wanted to become have a good patience as a one of the character it doesn't want to lose a patient in any of the circumstances so when you take that as a goal and when a particular soul takes a life and comes to this physical world 
the law of nature or what you say the physical or what you call as a maya of this world okay it will try to give you the exams to test you in that particular aspect you may fail in early stages of the life you may lose a patience and every test you will get some learnings i like that we will get n number of exams by the maya it make you to first level to top level of the the particular aspects exam and if you are passing then the soul's goal of that particular life is achieved so like that soul takes many lives to attain all of the characteristics to become a higher spirit form and then one time it want to go and attain a inner peace already care what to what we call it as a liberation so this is a broader way of to looking at why we came here now in order to do all this we need need some uh, sort of a uh, energy to our soul because when challenge comes to in front of the soul soul sometimes get confused does it have enough energy to fight i passed that particular exam so soul has to understand by staying in this physical world after some duration it loses its energy and it should find a way in regular way irregular or regular stages of the life it should find a way how to energize itself then the question or term comes as a god when we thought like it's impossible to pass a particular exam we are in go into a depression accepting a failure that time you think like a we lost our energy we need a some energy from external to again stand up and fight against those exams and move forward to to the spiritual journey to reach our liberation stage so here god is the one who is going to help you to provide that energy on regular basis when uh, that particular soul connects to that god but the maya is the one who is the owner of this physical world who always who pull the make a fool of the soul to that he is not a soul he try to make him to forget what he is really he always makes this physical world is a real world and whatever the physical body is that is what is he is by this influence of the maya soul completely forgets of the god and he never connects to the god over the period of time it will become control of a maya maya will control that particular soul by controlling its body and that body is completely <coughs> made up of a punch uh it will be controlled by five vikas like a kama krodha madha moha okay matsarya lob these are the vikas by through that it will make souls life hell and make him not to go towards a positivity to reach his goal to become a liberation to reach a liberation stage and it make you to stuck in this life forever and it won't allow you to you know get off from this life that is what we would call it as a, it's a job of the maya to challenge you to test you and it make you defeat it will try to defeat you now soul if never tries to connect to the god if it comes in the influence of the maya then forever it will be stuck here so the spiritual awakening is become more important at this point of time because during taking many lives and the soul comes on again again and if he is doing the same you know falls in the same set of uh, 
uh, life and he is nowhere getting out of this thing so over the period of time the soul will try to you know come into a position he accept that this world is not real and whatever body is it's not real then its spiritual journey starts then you can say that soul is awakening so if you are not awakened at then think like you still is still stuck in this world and you will be stuck in this world forever and in future one of one of the time you definitely get awakened but soon you are awakened then you are journey towards liberation become very easy one thing you have to understand that each and every soul's journey or goal is to reach a liberation it's up to a soul how much effort it does or put forward to go fastest to reach the liberation and how fast it will learn and try to you know learn stuff of the spiritual and go beyond it and try to you know go go to and reach the liberation stage if not then you just simply delay and definitely you'll be lost in this world forever and then the soul will do lot of bad karmas and definitely law of karma plays into role and it will give lot of punishment your life will become miserable so always we in pain in sorrowness he never get the happiness and never taste of the inner peace he never get the god pre characters in his in his characters then you think like the soul kind of you no know, never get a chance to come out and break this loop so this is what i am trying to you know give this information to those souls who may they want some guidance the path to kick start in his life to start and explore what is a spiritual journey to get at least to you know why we are here and what we have to achieve this is not just for one life this is not just this life we have to enjoy okay there is some certain things we do enjoy we face lot of uh, bad things we go through all the challenges still we enjoy the some of the life's good stuff but you should not forget that this life is not single life the soul has to no think beyond this life think about this universe think about the role of this soul in this universe and try to proceed and try to get that path so as part of this channel i am trying to give how i have felt my spiritual awakening stuff how i started related to those these are like common terminologies not like i am taking any references of any of the uh, spiritual centers or spiritual a lot of people are uh, doing good in their uh, area of spirituality but i just is what i am just sharing my personal experiences how we can you know uh, start your spiritual journey how you can uh, do awakening and once you started awakening you definitely know how to handle all the problems what you face in this life and also you should know you come to know how your life will become more happier once you came into this spiritual journey then all the time you always looking for be looking for happiness even if there is a tough time you always feel cool calm and feel a peace and also in that time you'll take a right action and make your life better and better and enjoy the 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 happiness what is provided by this life so stay tuned for this channel please subscribe my channel to 
get more information of this spiritual journey what i have felt i have faced those are i'm going to share with you guys and hope it will make you to some extent awakening your life to do something good stuff in your spiritual journey thank you